Now, the impact of mining is again the source of concern for residents of Gibraltar in St. Anne. Our reporter, Dwayne Anderson, has been exploring the issues facing the residents of the rural community and has the first of a two-part special feature on the issue. Hidden in St. Anne's hilly interior is a community called Gibraltar. It is a place many people won't know. But it is now at the center of an industrial tug of war that could define the future of families, a multi-million US dollar company, and maybe the mining sector of Jamaica. When we visited the Gibraltar community, we watched as heavy machines plowed into the bauxite-rich red soil. One resident told me this entire area used to be an extensive banana farm. But as you can see behind me, the commercial face of the community has changed to mining. One of the residents most significantly impacted by mining is Miss Gurley. She has spent 50 years on this land. She was recently relocated because the mining operations extended into her backyard, literally. She explained that the company has made arrangements for her to live elsewhere in the community. But she comes back to her little grocery shop by her old house daily to try and catch some sales. She said she misses the days before industrial interests took root in the community. Yes, this community was a, 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 a nice community. Because we, we farm, we farm, we, we, we depend on our farming. And right now, right now I'm, 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 I'm discouraged and, and unhappy. After speaking with Miss Gurley, we journeyed further into the community. And the deeper we went, the louder the cries for help became. The residents said they want the mining in the community to stop. It's our land, it's our place, we have to fight. Some of us have to fight, some, 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 some of us are going to die. I don't care if they want, I want to die for the truth. Yeah? I don't care if I die for the truth. Why should we have to fight for land to plant food when food is the main source for humanity? No, the, 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 the red earth that we use and plant, put it, yeah, man, can. It almost finished. This image in particular sparked concern among some environmentalists. In the picture, a school and a mined out area are neighbors. The school is the Gibraltar All Age. The school's leadership did not speak on camera, but told us the mining operation does not disturb teaching and learning. We were shown some of the old infrastructure in the community. Residents asked how come their water resources and roads are not more developed if mining is as great as they were told it is. Furthermore, they also have to contend with dust and noise pollution from the mining operations. Some of the residents are compensated if they are displaced or if they are inconvenienced by the dust. We were told the payments range from $8,000 and upwards. But some of the people say the payments are inadequate, while others insist the damage done is too great for money to pay for. They are very stressed out you know, at this moment. They come in and then give you a little money and say, that is dust mass money and them thing there. It cannot work out. A three quarter of the young people, them, little money then get to them, heat you out. And it's done. The residents' concerns reached the ears of their lawmakers and was the subject of discussion in the Senate days ago. When you talk to community persons, they tell you about the skin, rash, the skin rashes that they have, the respiratory challenges that they're experiencing, and the paltry sums that are being paid in restitution. Also among the concerned stakeholders are the Jamaica Environment Trust, JET. Having spoken to some of the community members who expressed that in many instances they, they didn't feel like they had much of an option. But the Jamaica Constitution says the residents of Gibraltar and other communities do have an option against a degraded environment. And in fact, they are guaranteed rights to a healthy and protected environment that is free from the threat of ecological destruction. In part two of this special report, we will tell you what bauxite company Noranda Partners have to say in their defense, how other stakeholders view the issues, and what the government's role is in the latest standoff. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.